Christmas Cindy for Freeze Babies Fiber Frolic. Coming to you from wet central Florida. It's not really hot out right now. I think it says it's temperature is 76, but it's been raining. Um, in case you haven't heard, we're getting ready to get a Hurricane Ian is set to um, hit our state sometime tomorrow. Um, my partner Sherry, who's a uh, I do my lives with occasionally on Wednesday night. She's going to get hurt. She'll get hit before me because she's on the coast where it's supposed to land. Same way with Billy the Crafty Floridian. She's also on that side of the state. I'm kind of right smack dab in the middle of the state. Um, but uh, I'm sure we're going to get something. Doesn't look good. Um, matter of fact, it kind of reminds me of Charlie. I can't remember if it was Charlie or Francis in 2004 that went straight up the middle of the state. Whatever, I had I had only been living here about four years at the time, um, and those that was my ex first experience with um, hurricanes. Um, Charlie came through and obliterated my neighborhood. I was lucky; my house is okay, but we had trees down everywhere. We couldn't hardly, you know, we couldn't get through. We had to stay. We had to stay put for God a while, four or five days, and then uh, of course we lost our power. We were without power for like ten days. And then um, the power company came, and they had you know they had to put up a new um, line and all that. And they the um, cherry picker, whatever you call it, truck had to um, anchor, put an anchor in to keep the truck steady. And when he put the anchor in, it sunk into my water line and broke my water line. So I was out. Not only was I without electric, I was out of water. So we finally had to go and um, stay with my in-laws because uh, they didn't have any electric, but they had water and they had gas. Their their um, house was gas furnace, gas air, and gas um, appliances, so we could cook and we could have hot baths. But uh, and you know that wasn't too bad. I mean, I, I mean, I and then of course Francis came through too, like less than two weeks later. And the first, the first one, Charlie was a novelty for me. I was fine. I mean, I was kind of thinking it was kind of cool and stuff, even though you know, little did I know that um, hurricanes are kind of a cluster, a cluster f because um, you wait, you wait, you wait. That's the hardest part is waiting. I wonder if I'm going to get a hit. How bad am I going to get hit? And um, for a person like me who suffers from um, anxiety. Um, general anxiety disorder and some other things uh it ain't good so i'm taking extra drugs to keep me calm um but uh yeah i don't know they keep changing the path so we're gonna get something whether it's just a, a lot of rain um you know there's a possibility of tornado there always is a possibility of tornadoes here um but so far um yeah it's been raining not real hard and not all the time but I'm sure it's going to start picking up. Um, but I'll try and update when I can. I hope you guys are, are staying safe if you're going through the same thing. I know I have friends up in Nova Scotia that are still recovering from Fiona. Ugh. You just, it just, I, I never think of the, them getting torn, I mean, hurricanes up north. But yeah, I guess anything on the seaboard, seaboard along, along the coastline, you, you can get stuff. So. I grew, you know, I grew up in Minnesota with her, you know, with tornadoes and blizzards and all that. And I hate, I hate bad weather. I, I, I used to hyperventilate. Um, now I'm just making sure I'm prepared. I mean, I'm pretty well prepared. I might not have enough water for bathing or whatever, but I've got plenty of drinking water. And I'm going to put a tote box in the bathtub and fill that up with water. So if we need it to flush toilets or whatever, hopefully that'll last a little while. Um. Yeah, and I'm putting important papers and stuff in a, another tote box so that it's in one place. My boyfriend thinks I'm crazy that I'm all worried and getting things going. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be prepared the best I can be. I'm not evacuating. It's it's too hard to evacuate when you got uh, three cats and one with health problems where he pees on the carpet and stuff. So I'm not going to go anywhere. Anyways, I love you guys, and I will try and keep you posted. And... I gotta get some. I, I gotta get some knitting and crocheting done. It'll help me. Oh.
All right. I will love you guys. I'm going to probably make another video after this one anyways. All right. Take care. Love you.